TK the Science Guy. TK the Science Guy. Five, 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 five. TK the Science Guy. Ace rule. TK the Science Guy. Wind power. I'm a big fan. Time, 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 time. TK the Science Guy. TK the science guy. Hey, CW Apes, Mr. Kennedy here in the Environmental Science Lab. Today, demonstrating a new experiment on population growth. Um, this activity can be found on our class webpage under populations. Um, you need to find this handout, that handout, right? That says experiment lemna minor duckweed population growth. So this experiment is designed for you to use all of your powers of observation to study population growth in a teeny tiny little plant that lives out in the Clovis West environmental pond. Ideally, you'd take a field trip out to the pond and you'd get a net and you get to catch some of this stuff. Whoa. Yeah, that is our pond water and the little green floaty things in there, well, that's duckweed. And well, that's what we're studying. These tiny little heart-shaped plants are, are gonna be our experimental subjects. And don't worry, no plant shall be harmed through the entirety of our experiment, okay? Now, uh, using the scientific method, uh, you need to decide what conditions like will promote the most growth for our duckweed. Basically, we're gonna use a plant food, miracle Grow. And, and water, like pond water, to, to run the experiment. It's really simple, not hard. We are gonna put water in our cups and then you have to decide, or I guess I do, because I'm demonstrating it for you, how much miracle grow you're gonna give these plants. And then we just watch them grow over the course of several days. So I'm gonna set this up. You're gonna collect the data do the number crunching and and we'll see. We'll just see how much miracle grow affects the population growth of Lemna minor or duckweed. All right, let's get started setting this up. Since I'm the one deciding how to set this up and not you, I'm gonna come up with some pretty simple parameters to follow. Uh, you need to make sure you write down my experimental design as part of your lab report. So if you look at the handout, it talks about using 10 ounce paper cups, you know, to, to grow our, our duckweed in. I didn't get 10 ounce paper cups. I got reusable uh, plastic cups here um, so that I can use these more than once and they don't end up in, in the trash, okay? And, uh, and then we need our miracle Grow. so there you go. And uh, I get to decide how much miracle Grow I'm gonna put in. And of course, we've got our pond water, our duckweed. So since I'm in charge of the setup, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill like five cups here um, with the same amount of water um, in each cup. But what's gonna be different in each cup is how much uh, miracle Grow I put in there, okay? So I'm gonna have five cups. One of them's gotta be my control. And then the other four cups are gonna get some miracle Grow uh, that I decide on as I set it up. So what I'm thinking is how about 100 mils of water and then we'll do like increments of 10 on my miracle Grow. I'll start off with my control that maybe doesn't have any miracle Grow, because uh, you know, miracle Grow doesn't exist in nature. So there, there's my control. And then the cup number two here, it's gonna get 10 mils of miracle Grow, And then this one's gonna get 20. And then this one's gonna get 30. And then this one, the fifth and final cup, will maybe get 40 mils of miracle Grow. okay? Um, so that's what I'm gonna do to set this all up. Um, here we go.
Whew, that was a lot of work. So now our cups are all set up. Um, I've got cup one, which is my control. It has 100 mils of water in it and no miracle Grow. Cup two is my first experimental cup. It has 100 mils of water and 10 mils of miracle Grow. Cup three, uh, again, 100 mils of water and 20 mils of miracle Grow. Cup four, 100 mils of water and 30 mils of miracle Grow. And cup five, okay, 100 mils of water and 40 mils of miracle Grow. Now, as you saw while I was setting this up, each of the cups had some duckweed added to it, uh, Lemna Minor. Uh, you need to record in your data table that you'll create for your lab report what uh, we started with, okay? So each of these cups is gonna start with five healthy plants. Now you might have noticed there's a couple little extra floaties in there. Uh, to know you're looking at a healthy plant, well, what you wanna look for as I show you data moving forward is like kind of like a little like, I don't know, butterfly looking like plant that's floating on the surface with green leaves. So it'll have like kind of like four lobes to it, like a butterfly's wings, if it is a healthy plant. Um, if it's new, uh, like a little baby plant, just getting started, it might only have two of those wings, but um, at least has to have that in order to be counted as alive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and visit this over the course of the next several days. And your job in this experiment is to keep track of how many plants you see in each of the data sets. So I'll come back day after day and I will show you from the top, okay, how many plants uh, we see in each of these cups. And you write that down for your data. Don't forget, your lab report should also have a hypothesis and a procedure section based on what you've seen here and what you've heard uh, me use as the setup, okay? So you've got a full lab report. You've got the question that we're trying to deal with, which basically is like how much miracle grow is needed to achieve exponential growth, a hypothesis, a procedure, a data table that you're gonna make here. You're gonna end up graphing this data and you bet there's gonna be some conclusion questions that go with it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna sign off for now and I'll see you in about 24 hours so that we can look at the population growth of Lemna Minor. All right, I'll see you in 24 hours. All right, everybody, it's been 24 hours. Here are our cups, right, one through five. I'm gonna show you from the top uh, the growth that we've seen in our Lemna Minor. Make sure you're writing this down in your data table. This is cup number one. Okay, remember you are looking for the little heart-shaped plants, kind of look like a butterfly's wings, however you want to describe it. Those are, that's new growth. Count up how many of those you see. This is cup number two. Cup number three. Cup number four. And cup number five. Add that to your data table and I'll see you in 24 hours. It's been another day, another 24 hours, so two days. Here's our cups again. Okay, cups one through five. Again, I'm gonna show you the data from the top. Add this to your data table. Count up how many of those butterfly-shaped plants that you see in each cup. This is cup number one. This is cup number two. This is cup number three. This is cup number four and cup number five. All right, everybody, this is day three, okay, of our experiment. Our cups are still hanging on. Our duckweed looks like it's doing good. Again, I'll show you the data from the top and you count up your plants. Here is cup number one. Here is cup number two. 
Here is cup number three. Cup number four. And cup number five. We're three days in. We're gonna give this a couple more days and then we'll wrap it up. Here we are on day four. Day four, our cups are still going strong. Again, I will show you the data from the top. You've got to count up how many duckweed plants you see in each cup. Here's cup number one. Cup number two. Cup number three. Cup number four. Cup number five. We've got one more day worth of data to collect here. Remember to add all of this to a data table in your lab report. Last day worth of data. One last time counting our duckweed, and then we're gonna turn it all loose to go back out into the pond and live a happy life. So here is cup number one. Here is cup number two. Here is cup number three. Cup number four. And cup number five. That's it on our data collection. Now, just time to make our graphs and do our conclusion. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our duckweed population growth lab. So what I would like you to do is to take all the things that you've seen and heard, make a full lab report. I mentioned it in the earlier parts of this video, but it needs to have the question, the hypothesis, um, the procedures written out for the setup, a data table, uh, a graph so that we can see any changes or trends in the growth of our duckweed over the course of five days. And lastly, right, you've got some questions on here that you're gonna answer in your conclusion section. And there's one that's really, really important. Um, it talks about experimental error. So if the results didn't come out the way you expected it, you need to kind of deal with that idea, like why? Is there something that I did that could have maybe added air or some sort of like erroneous data to the experiment here? That's the air analysis. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've learned a little bit about population growth. I know I have, and I've enjoyed doing this lab for you. I'm Mr. Kennedy. Remember, reduce, reuse, recycle, and I will see you next time. TK, the science guy. TK, the science. TK the science guy Eggs rule TK the science guy Wind power I'm a big fan Tide 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 TK the science guy Tide 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 TK the science guy